What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello. Wow, what a weird intro, but we're at the airport because I'm going to see my family this coming week. I'm so stoked. I get to see my brother. I get to spend time with my mom. I miss them so much. For those that know me, I am from Seattle, but I live in California. So I figured I might as well take you along the vlog with me. We're going to do another Seattle vlog because they're a blast and we all love a good share, am I right? So my mom's actually working the flight home so she gets to be my flight attendant. How freaking fun is that? I'm so excited to see her work. I've never even been able to see her work and she's been a flight attendant for like three years. So, be a good time. Let's get this vlog started. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's get started. All right, fam, we have made it to Washington. It was a lovely flight, having my mom as a flight attendant. Here's a cute pic of us. Huh? Look at her cute garden that they have been doing. Adorable. Say hello to our friends. Hello. Nice They've to missed see you. you. Again. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> We're just eating a little protein bar. We're gonna go for a little walk. Walk downtown to the waterfront. It's supposed to be like 90 this week. Yeah. Holla. Good weather in Seattle. Good morning. Whoa, it's so bright. I, there's no winning. It is incredibly windy today, but we are going to Stadium High School, AKA 10 Things I Hate About You Guys. We're gonna go do a little workout. Hopefully it's not too windy, not too bad. Maybe it's like sheltered or something. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. And then we're hanging out with grandma, good old Grams. And yeah, you wanna say hi, mom? Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's so dark in here, <laughs> but let's go. Okay, so story time. Stadium, the high school. There is like apparently a fence that people go through to get to the actual stairs. Well, we could not find it. So we walked back, but I got a couple clips because it's from the movie 10 Things I Hate About You with Heath Ledger. All time favorite movie. So that was kind of still, it was still cool, still fun. Then mom and I were like, well, let's do a quick circuit. And we did a 30 minute circuit. Uh, burned 226 calories during it and I just showed you one of the circuits that I did and then we added weights on to another circuit but it's good to just get moving and grooving regardless even if you're on vacation a quick little 30 minute workout Do you see how sweaty I am like holy dang it's good all right so we're picking plum well, my mom's picking plums before my grandma gets here I wanted to show you because there is so many fruit trees in her backyard what you picking, Mom? Plums. Plums for Grandma. And what water is that, Mom? Here's your sound. <laughs> so you, you live here. <laughs> Should you even know? I'm a little brain fart though. <laughs> Hung out with Grandma, and now we're out for a cider. Mom got a rosé cider. <laughs> So we went to go hiking today, but the trail is closed due to COVID. So we're hanging out at the lake that is open for the day. Mom took me to a bakery. She used to go to when she played hooky from high school. Is it the same, Mom? Not the same. No. The cookies. Yummy. Yeah. Well, what's up, fam? I am back home. It is now the weekend. I had a great time in Seattle. I was literally there from like Monday to Friday. And I just got home yesterday. Our gym is open. <laughs> so I worked out yesterday. And we're probably going to work out together today at 
our apartment gym, because it's my favorite gym, Bentley. I made a black bean chili burger because we are out of food. And I'm about to grocery shop, so I figured I might as well take you with me grocery shopping too. So I go to Trader Joe's, and we gotta go to Albertsons. And I just figured, why not eat a little bit so I'm not shopping completely hungry, you feel me? Last night, Michael and I went out to eat. And we ate like a mixture of so many random things like sushi, a giant pretzel, sweet potato fries, and a burger. Weird, huh? And then we watched um, Legend of Korra, per usual. That was a great time, so. But I missed you guys. Honestly, I just wasn't really vlogging much in Seattle because I was spending time with my friends and family. But it was honestly an awesome trip and I had a great time. And I always love visiting the Pacific Northwest. But, okay, let's eat this meal. Let's get started for the day. All right, we're all changed and we are heading to the gym first because I realized the gym closes for uh, cleaning at like 2 p.m and I figured I might as well work out before I go to <laughs> the store. I've eaten a bit, but I wanted to show you something. So I ordered Michael some goodies from the Labor Day sale from Gymshark and I ordered myself a new backpack because I literally have been using this like old backpack forever. And I just wanted to represent Gymshark. Look at this cute backpack I got. It was like 20 bucks, I think, on the Labor Day sale, but it's so cute. It has a little Gymshark. It literally has a pocket for my phone, for my headphones, my ID, like whenever I fly. And then it has like an extra extra pocket in there. Then it even has a pocket for your laptop. It's just a super spacious backpack. So I'm here for it. Then I got Michael all these different goodies. They have great sales for men, like $12 shirts, $10 shirts. So this one was kind of cute. It's more of like a material to work out in and it's kind of camo. Then I bought him just a few long sleeves, some staple, you know, short sleeves that just have the logo on it. It's a great time. I love shopping for Michael. He probably just thinks I'm a shopaholic, but I'm like, all right we are home from the gym i'll change i did a lower body day and then i biked guys i have some goals coming up and one of my coming goals is to increase my cardio because i've been slacking on it and i really want to improve with my sprints so we're making that a goal at the gym okay especially now that my apartment gym's open but regardless let's go to the stores let's go grocery shopping because you're also hungry. all right we are back from grocery shopping here's michael patiently awaiting to eat some of the food and i'll show you the little trader joe's haul first because the pumpkin season is here and i want to get more pumpkin stuff like taste testing why am i taste awkwardly testing? like a quarter in <laughs> i'm either in or out <laughs> you're in you're in well, I want us to taste test pumpkin, but we'll do this. We'll do that later. All right, so I got the basics. We got our zoodles, which we eat with our sweet potato gnocchi, okay? I also got the pollo asado. We love cooking this and making like kind of a burrito bowl with it. Then I figured we could have some cheese and crackers tonight. It's a little treat. And with the crackers, I always buy the fig and olive crisps, and then they always have this cracker assortment. Super good, but if you put goat cheese on this, Amazing. Then I bought some Cocoa Bon. This is our favorite kind of wine. Um, just a snag at like Trader Joe's or something. Then I got some organic blueberries. And guys, we found chocolate and vanilla macaroons because the other ones were like funky flavors. Then we always have staples of, you know, cashews to snack on. This was interesting. Oat beverage maple. But I'm down to try it in my coffee. So I'll keep you updated. Then we just stocked up on things like everything bagel seasoning, Michael's Green Dragon hot sauce. I also got apple cider scent, like foaming hand soap, just because tis the season. And then I also got a vanilla pumpkin scented candle. Kettle corn, which I already snagged one on the way back in the car. And fun little pumpkins. I also forgot to mention, I got some pumpkin bread muffin mix. That'll be interesting to try. Moving on to our produce, I go to Albertsons and Michael wanted to make some sandwiches. So I got some cut deli meat. Then at the deli, I got some shrimp to make that shrimp salad for the week. Then I just stocked up on kind of fresh produce like strawberries, lemons, limes, tomatoes, onion, all the good stuff you have all seen me always snag. And then also our sprouts for the sandwiches. Stocked up on Beyond Sausage and we just freeze the ones that we don't use and then just de them when we're ready. Then I got two different types of bread, the Dave's Killer Bread, but this one's a little bit larger so I got that for the sandwiches. Then we got some coconut milk for Michael, some oat milk for me for our coffees, some raspberries, avocados, I also got some tomatoes, and then lettuce. Boy, I'm making me a sandwich. It's gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> snazzy. Let's see if it's better than the fig ones. I'm gonna go for chocolate first. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Maybe we should just have both. <laughs> 
Michael Logic. How is it? It's good. Yeah? Cheers. I feel weird to sit that close to my face when we eat it. Mukbang. ASMR, right? Mm hmm. So I cleared off the counters, put my little vanilla pumpkin candle here, my cute Polaroid, my fake eucalyptus right on. Not really sure where to put this, but my plan is to secretly sneak pumpkins every single week until our entire apartment is full of pumpkins. Michael won't know what hit him, but we do wanna have a Halloween party this year, so I'm gonna get prepped to decorate. I did wanna have like a little chit chat, just like it's now September and how crazy, like how, how crazy that it's fall. And think about like the pandemic essentially started what in March? March. We've gone through spring and summer with everything that's been going on, which is just insane. And I know that a lot of schools aren't started back up. I know a lot of you know schools are just online or if you're in a different country, maybe they are going on. But fall is honestly one of my favorite seasons and like Halloween is my favorite holiday, but I love fall because I feel like it's new beginnings and I just remember starting up a new class or you know moving into a new apartment for school. I don't know, just so many fun things happened that just felt like a new start to the year. And I know a lot of the times people can get really anxious over that. Regardless of your situation, I'm sending lots of love and thinking of you because this is the time of year that I remember going through so much change, you know, growing up and even now, like we're constantly changing and like, fall is like on the tip top before winter comes and I know a lot of people have anxiety over the winter that's coming so just want to let you know that I love you guys I'm here for you and this was just a little chat I wanted to have but I'm actually gonna go meet up with two of my good girlfriends uh, and we're just gonna go grab a green juice and chit chat so I think honestly tonight Michael and I will probably just have our cheese and wine I don't know once I come back from a trip like I absolutely love spending time with my mom and my family and my friends and I have a blast but I feel like I'm kind of introverted in the sense that I need to like be alone and recharge and I just feel like mentally drained. I don't know, today I just feel like tired and it's weird because I got a ton of sleep last night but I think I'm just exhausted from like being on the go 24 seven and I just think I needed to mellow out and Michael's like, we can, you know, hang out with friends tonight and I'm just like, I just, I just want to sit in silence and just watch some TV. Just, I don't even know. Even today when I was grocery shopping, I was eating a bag of kettle corn and like I literally sat in the parking lot and just ate the kettle corn and listened to a podcast for like five minutes. Just like peace and quiet. I just think I need to recharge. I don't know if any of you guys are like that where you're kind of introverted extrovert where I love spending time with people, but I don't know, I go through these weird phases, but once I get my alone time, your girl's recharged and she's ready to go. Michael just went for a long board with one of his friends and I'm just like, it's so nice as a car drives by. But like, it's just so nice to recharge and feel good. So that was a really long chat. Just wanted to let you guys know. And I'm not sure if you knew that about my personality either, because I feel like you don't really know that when I'm always vlogging, but I'm actually quite an introvert in the sense of like, I like to be alone and I'd like quietness. Good morning, it is Sunday. Michael and I had a little nice night in. Usually we like to sit on the balcony, but I just whipped up some cheese and crackers and we honestly sat on the couch and it was so nice. We <laughs> were trying to plan out our Halloween costume ideas. It's gonna be good. I always love Halloween and I love having my friends over and we all dress up for the actual date. So we're planning that this year and we're like, what should we be? So stay tuned, I won't tell you, but it involves getting crafty because I don't think you can buy the costume. So, so anyways, I just wanted to take you along my morning right now because I'm gonna try that maple oat milk. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We just got a vanilla latte, so I'm gonna get my second cup of coffee, but I wanted to give a little taste test before I wrap up this vlog because why the heck not, you know? Also, Please look how cute this outfit is. It's that like dark green training hoodie from Gymshark. And then these are the new training sweatpants. They actually do have a drawstring. I was completely incorrect in my last haul. I literally did not even notice. They're like hidden underneath. So this is my fit on a Sunday. Good morning, my love. Doesn't he look so mad right now? He's gonna be involved in our Halloween costume. Also update on this candle. Cheer Joes, I love you, but do not amount to Bath and Body Works. This, like I can't even smell it. All right, moment of truth. It smells very maple-y. Let's eat some pancakes with them. Cheers. I don't notice it. Maybe you'd notice if like it was a latte, but since I have majority coffee, I'm gonna pour more in. It's just gonna be a real lukewarm coffee now. Okay. It has like a hint of sweetness. You don't really taste the maple. 
Not too shabby though. So I give this like maybe a three out of 10 because I feel like maybe it'd be good in cereal, but why would I want maple syrup in cereal? I don't know. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this long vlog. I know we went from Seattle to Huntington Beach in it, but I always have a blast hanging out with you guys. There'll be more content coming this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.